everybody and welcome back to to uh well my stream um yeah <laughs> sorry i was just fiddling with some extra things uh just to make sure that everything's all working okay and running all right um and so i slightly lost track of time but we're here and we're all good um but uh yeah um But, um, sorry, yeah, uh, t today, today is a low brain day for me, <laughs> just, uh, just as an FYI, um, but yeah, so, um, before we get properly started, I just want to quack, 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 quickly, I just want to get, I, it, rewind, reset, Hi everybody, welcome to my stream. I hope you are all doing well today. Uh, before we get started with more Assassin's Creed Syndicate, as you can see here on my left, um, I would like to quickly take a moment and talk about the fact that I have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash Crimson Knight, where you can support me and my streams and my content without having to go through the likes of Twitch or YouTube. Uh, help basically it would help me better my everything because it actually gives me a budget to work with um so yeah that that is what the patreon is for um but if you're actually wanting to follow me on socials or join my discord those links are available through the link tree which is uh, which is visible on screen right down here at the bottom also right here at the top uh Linktree slash Crimson Knight and Patreon.com slash Crimson Knight. Both places are places where you can find me and my socials and my Discord and uh, my YouTube where you can uh, check out my uh, uh, all the VODs of my previous streams for free and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, and actually speaking of YouTube, if you are watching this, please go ahead and hit that like button. Uh, maybe throw a comment in there or, you know, subscribe if you're up for it, if you haven't already. Um, that'd be great. If not, that's okay. I won't hold it against you. Um, but, uh, yeah. All that's up there, including my Twitch, all of the things, all of the things, all of the things. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, I do need to quickly grab something that I forgot to grab. Uh, so I will be quickly right back, be right back and then we will dive right into this, okay? All right, BRB. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, the thing wasn't where I thought it was, but then I ha so I had to then find it, and it it's been found. We're good. Okay. Anyway, so today I was thinking that we should uh, finish off this uh, Darwin mission that's up here in Whitechapel. Um, as you can see on the left of the screen, at the bottom where it says memories, there that would complete Whitechapel all of what uh, Whitechapel's memories. Um, so that's my first goal, is to do that. Um, actually, that's my first goal, but before we do that, I am going to quickly, uh, dive in to the database. Here we go. Because there was one letter that I couldn't find, but I found, and that is this one. 
and I wanted to read it on stream because I read all the other ones on stream. So, uh, dear mother and father, I know that you have fretted over me ever since I decided to come here, but I am having a most wonderful time and learning to become a man at last. That's not how it works, but okay. The lads like to tease me because I am so slight, just as they did back home. But with a rifle in my hands, I'm just as strong as any of them. Yesterday, we stopped for a very pleasant afternoon in a small Belgian market square, sharing cigarettes under the sun. And this morning, we marched alongside the Mons and the Mont Canal. Dad will be able to find it in our book of world maps, I'm sure. Um, we're all ready and eager to face the Germans and put an end to this silly war. They've got to learn they can't bully the world like this and we're going to teach them a lesson. I'll be back home in weeks and I can start work at, that, at the factory just like you wanted. They won't turn away a war hero. Love, Artie. Private Arthur Harris died in the first battle between British and German troops days later. So yeah. That's all of those. Um, I believe I now have all of the assassin intel too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. That may not be all of them, but it's definitely the the complete list. Okay, so. Uh, we did these, I believe. The Paris facility was completely destroyed, along with our best samples. All that work, lost forever. With that in mind, these are notes towards increased efforts in locating new precursor samples. I want to merge industry and entertainment in the hearts and minds of the public. Every product and service of Stergo offers should be sending user data to Helix for us to look through. That would be a tough sell to a public who's already scared of Big Brother. So we will sell them on Big Mother. Nobody likes it when the government snoops on our social media. But everyone's wearing an Abstergo body band fitness monitor. What about uh, an Abstergo stenographer? We take a sample from the plaintiff and defendant and then relive the case through the animals. Yes, that's what I want. I'll ask Mr. Rick and Tulin on the Justice Department to get samples from the prison population as well. Laetitia has authorized a series of Abstergo clinics. We're going to open them in cities around the world. Abstergo healthcare. Imagine being adopted and finding out who your birth parents are, along with your entire medical history in minutes. Under Melanie Lemay's watch, Abstergo Entertainment has more users than ever. That's great, but that's still a pretty small user base. But we need to expand our demographics. Not a lot of virtual feature in Okay. Uh, we did listen to that one already, so yeah. I just wanted to quickly say, hey, Rose, how you doing? Good to see you, good to see you. Glad you could drop in. How you been? Did you have a good weekend? Hello, Elvira. What the hell do you want? Don't look so glum. Let me tell you what I've been working on lately. We sent Berg to India last year to chase a lead involving Koei Noor. It was a dead end, but we did manage to find some data on an assassin from the 1800s, Arbaz Mir. And? And, while that's all very interesting, when we looked further into his genetic line, we found this. Arba's mere son was in London, so what? Look closer. Blah, blah, assumed name Henry Green, blah, blah. CMC and the assassins were searching for... Oh, my God. You found another one. My teams are working outward from this sample. We've scoured Helix and tracked down a set of memories from the Grand Master of the British Rite, Crawford Sterrick. We're also looking for data on other assassins of the era. Would you have anyone searching for the new shroud? No one yet. You want to call in Berg? As soon as humanly possible! Uh, weekend was fine. Fast. Fair. How am I? I'm, I'm doing pretty good. Um... I'm doing pretty good. Today's a bit of a low brain day, but you know, it'd be that way. Um, so yeah, uh, welcome. Um, but yeah, so this audio thing just officially confirmed that Henry Green, Mr. Green, is the son of Arbaz Mir and, uh, the, uh, princess. I forget her name, but anyway. 
Isabel, what brings you here? I came to gloat, actually. Look at this data. A sage! It gets better. Check his patrilineal line. Let's see. Patrilineal line. 19th century American Midwest. 18th century American Revolution. 16th century Ottoman Empire. 15th century Italian Renaissance. Oh my god. You don't mean... Yeah. The best part? His mother just walked him into one of your new clinics in New York City. Oh, I'd really like to strip him for parts like we did with Subject 17. Oh, no, you don't. You had your chance with the Shroud. This asset is mine, and I won't be a party to the needless mutilation of a ten-year-old boy. It's inhumane. So what do you plan to do with him? Given his unique lineage, I think we should put him into an animus for the next 50 years. Think of the data we could extract. That's terribly old-fashioned. In any case, we should send Sigma team to recover him. No. I'm going to keep an eye on him for now. We'll collect him when the time is right. So, the locations that here, let me just Isabel, play that again. What brings you here? I came to gloat, actually. Look at this data. A sage. It gets better. Sage. Check his patrilineal line. Let's see. Patrilineal line. Father's side. 19th century American Midwest. 18th century American Revolution, 16th century Ottoman Empire, 15th century Italian Renaissance. Oh my God, you don't mean? Yeah. It's a it's Those are the same locations that are confirmed as Desmond's uh, Desmond's ancestry. Uh, that's Ezio. Ezio's family, um, Ottoman Empire, uh, puts him with the, uh, God, I forget her name. The girl that Ezio meets in, in the, uh, <coughs> in Assassin's Creed Revelation, uh, American Revolution, Connor. Um, it also, through Connor, is Edward, as we know, um, because Edward is Connor's grandfather. So it's in that line as well. Um, and yeah, so that was them officially establishing that someone whose gene gene genealogical line may be similar to Desmond's is a sage. Um, and uh, yeah, the, to my knowledge, in the games, they haven't followed through on that, but I do know that uh, Desmond's son is confirmed to be a sage in some of the co the, the cano canonical comics and uh, is uh, kind of a villain in that, to my understanding. So, re uh, reconstructed data number 11. DDS, genetic memory exports, uh, 42 BC, Macedonia. We surround, we surround Brutus's body, mourning the passing of one of Roma's greatest defenders. Uh, as we know from, uh, other Assassin's Creed stuff. My, my mind just blanked. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Brutus was an assassin, like an assassin yeah like he didn't just kill caesar he was the a member of the assassin's brotherhood uh brutus's body mourning the passing greatest defenders um his life taken by his own hand marcus antonius has sent us his finest mantle to wrap the body a uh, feeble gesture after all it was his refusal to stand against octavian that caused our defeat uh we will pretend to accept antonius's gesture for now but we have brought a shroud of our own. We wrap it around the body and step back. We have never used it before and we are frightened. Movement. We raise an, uh, we raise an edge of the shroud and Brutus's eyes open. His arms lift and bend with restored life. His fingers grip the air as if he pulls himself back into his body. He does not breathe or speak. He simply lays there, unmoving, unblinking. He is not warm. He does not react to touch. Whatever power lies within this artifact, it has not returned our brother to us. 
We close his eyes again. There is no sign that he had ever moved. Some of us weep. It is a second death. We remove the shroud and return it to its plain wooden box, then wrap Brutus in Antonius' gift. Forgive us, brother. They have taken from us, from Roma, but now it is not uh, now is not the time to respond. Uh, we must regroup, plan, prepare for what is sure to come. Repeat after me, children. There is no piece of Eden that can bring someone back from the dead. Stop asking. Except from the re recordings we have before, technically... Technically speaking, uh, it's not that it brings them back from the dead. It's that uh, the shroud heals them before the brain functions cease. Um, and we know that from all the numerous times that we uh, in the previous recordings and stuff in this section that uh, the... Um, uh the shroud was used to talk to one of the precursor uh, precursors one of the isu um when they kept shooting that one chick in the face with her wrapped in the shroud yes. okay hold on all right so we've done one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven twelve monteregioni italy i believe we've read this one uh, but will a myth became a miracle the holy win a winding street has arrived freshly plucked from Templar hands in France I do not want to look at the thing, but I must confirm for myself I meet my brothers in the villa my brothers tell me that the shrouds owner Jeffrey to uh, De Jeffrey de Carney or Charney probably Carney uh, Suspects nothing we have paid many men and women to for a fortune to replace his shroud with an intricate replica to remove this burden from history. I can feel something. The moment it is lifted from its box, evil, a sickness in my belly, I begin to take my notes. A man's shape has been burned into the shroud, arms and his uh, arms to his sides and palms forward. According to the church's records, the, vis the visage has changed throughout history. Different men, who are they? He appears to have been tortured. The fabric itself is yellowed, old, and has bloodstains on it which are to be expected with wounds such as these. Endless knowledge. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> uh, satisfied that we possess what we had sought, we fold the shroud and put it back into its box. I hear words faint in my mind. One might mistake them for spirits, but for me, they simply reinforce the importance of my task. What better place than our walled city to hide such abominations from mankind uh, we will bury it deep and set up measures to ensure it remains hidden we will burn church records and send claims of fraud to religious leaders who would know who would know its fa uh, its flaws better than the ones who forged it uh renato auditore son of domenico and isabetta uh, was a pretty forgettable assassin <laughs> ouch um, although he was largely responsible for turning Monteregioni into an assassin stronghold. The Auditore family only really gets interesting with Renato's grandsons, uh, Mario and Giovanni. Mario and Giovanni, of course, being the father and uncle of Ezio Auditore. Uh, Mar Mario Auditore, one of five. I think we read this one, actually. Uh... The Thorne has a crypt in Monteregioni filled with secrets. Um, hold on, let me check how many of these are there. There's 33. Okay. Uh, yes, we did read these five. We I we read all five of these, um, where they detail them exploring the crypts beneath. Uh, Monteregioni, um, and finding the shroud and then putting it back away, if I remember correctly. I have hidden the damnable thing in the villa. 
Yeah, soon Giovanni will arrive to move it away from here. Becomes the Brotherhood's problem now. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. That was 1454. This is 44 years later. Um, uh, location Agnadello. Um, my order keeps an artifact in Agnadello, uh, one with powers I cannot explain. If it can heal my child, I will travel any distance. I will need a horse. But I cannot return to to the con convent. English is hard. I cannot return to the convent to retrieve my own. Uh, I pull a soldier from his saddle and challenge him for his mount. I chose a dangerous victim. This man is skilled with a longsword. I take note of the man's armor and exploit his weaknesses. A swift boot to his crotch drops his guard. I mean, fair. Um, they fight. Someday I will repay Gila's kindness, uh, but first I must finish what I started. I secure my child and set out. Okay. Uh, we were being chased. I knew we were being chased, but I hoped for more time. Uh, continue to run. Alexander's hunting party turns tail. Uh, okay, they fight off the chasers. Uh, my brothers have traveled from... Uh, yeah, not the crotch kick. I mean, that would always get... Like, that will almost always get somebody to drop their guard. Uh, at least. Um... They know why I'm why I am here. They will not allow me to use the shroud. None shall stand in my way. Vincenzo, it seems only yesterday we trained together. I try to try to wound him, but he is not holding back. A thrown knife digs into my shoulder. I shudder as I pull it out and hurl it back to into its owner's eye. Ouch! Don't worry, I got you. Um, I I got you. <laughs> Um, uh, I leave my brothers either dead or disabled and continue. There is no returning to the order. Uh, no returning to Roma, only Agnadello. Um, okay. one, and he's you're fine, don't worry. Uh, the only reason it's like that is because uh basically there are ter like there are terms I want banned. However, Twitch's ban list is massive and I have to uh basically every time they come up I have to approve them for my stream. Um other I would just straight up turn it off except there are things that I don't want said in chat um under any circumstances, you know. And crotch is I'm I'm fine with that one. That one's just Twitch being silly. Um, uh, my enemies will come, in gr will come in greater numbers if my brothers do not reach me first. I give my life for my sons, gambling everything upon a legend where I am em where I am empty in faith. I am filled with desperate hope. Uh, so beautiful uh it is a plain thing carefully folded inside uh a simple wooden box but it is also so much more it speaks inside my head i feel that it wants to heal my wounds no i am here for my son i wrap his tiny body in the shroud flawed material it tells me i tell it he is not flawed but it insists i order it to heal him i feel as though my head will burst it takes all my concentration to keep from blacking out my son screams. I have to force myself to leave him in the cloth. What chance does he have without it? I cradle my baby, wrapped, wrapped in the shroud. It is humming an eerie song, and the voice in my head matches the tune. The pain is temporary. Ignore it, it demands. Does it not understand that he is a mere infant? I remove my son from the shroud. He is no longer crying. He looks up at me with glossy eyes, and I wonder if he has truly been healed. Has this pain... Has this been worth the pain I have caused? 
I return the shroud to its box and leave. Uh, Giovanni Borgia. Uh, what did the shroud do to this poor kid? He, he should be dreaming about the Renaissance equivalent of sunshine and lollipops, not murder in politics. I have never seen anything like this, Erudito. And we know Erudito was the screen name used by uh, uh, John Standish, the sa the first sa the mo the modern day sage we enc we encounter the first time we encounter a sage in Assassin's Creed Four. Um, in my dreams, I am older. I speak words. Uh, hold on a second. I'm looking to see if they say this person's name, and I just scrolled past it. Uh, no. Oh, yeah, they do. Parato Calderon. Parato. 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 Whatever. Okay. Giovanni Borgia, one of seven. Uh... Symbolic sacrifice, searing iron burns the flesh of my hand, and all that's left, the leap of faith. Uh... Perotto Giovanni dreamed of Perotto. That means he must have had Lucrezia's memories in there. That would make Oedipus blush. <laughs> Damn. Uh, this is bad, bad stuff, but it, it, you need to dig deeper. I will work on preventing this from reaching any Abstergo reports. Uh, from Inner Depot. Uh, much of the Project Legacy data was compromised by the hacker collective known as Erudito. I'm not sure we can trust the information anymore, but I've in included it for completion's sake. Uh... <clears throat> uh, my brothers have placed a child into my care. His family has long served us. Uh, scrawny child, Francesco, is eager, is eager as well as thorough. He repeats my questions. He asks me to repeat my demonstrations as he studies. Um, they, they practice, they fight. Got some snackies? No, I'm, uh, dealing with a light sore throat, so I popped a, uh, cough drop. <laughs> Um, encourages the students, blah, etc. etc. Okay, continuing teaching, uh, an assassin training their protege. Uh, I try not to snack on stream, uh, or even eat on stream. I, I have a thing about, um, people like it, it's a it's that concept of eating in front of people who don't necessarily have food, kind of a thing, you know, like. Sometimes if I need a snack, I'll ha I'll snack on stream, but I absolutely I try very hard not to. Um, and uh, yeah, but no, no, no snackies, cough drops. Um, uh, I'm tangled in nightmares. I've never felt love. <laughs> I've felt love. I've never felt love. I have felt love so strongly it strangles me. I am Borgia. The Borgia are my enemies. I am Assassin. The Assassins are my enemies. Cesare is my father. Perotto is my father. Perotto. I am Perotto. I am Giovanni. I am lost. God damn, this poor guy. Um, I am... Oh, shoot. Where was I? Not that one. Not that one. There we go. Um... I'm drowning in a sea of letters. I must write. I have not learned how uh, words I cannot understand cover every surface in blood red ink. This man is describing what uh, we understand to be the something akin to the bleeding effect from the animus. Um, or at least it seems to be uh, s similar. It seems to be similar. Um, where you get lost in memories from your ancestors and uh yeah 
Uh, Papa strikes me with his blade. Cesare stabs me in the back. I cry. I fall. I want to be free of him. I want to kill him. I will get into trouble. I will cause trouble for Lucrezia. Uh, I must run to Zia. Everything for Zia. For Lucrezia. Uh, men in white hoods surround me. I, am I here to teach them am, how, how I am a child? Are they here to teach me, my students, my executioners, my future? I know too much about... Uh, I know too much, but I know nothing. I am innocent, yet racked with guilt. I chase an object of power. I have no faith that it will work. I know how it works. It will heal him. It will heal me. It will remake me. My dream threatens to burst. It is too much. Will I ever wake? Will I ever sleep again? Uh, Giovanni, 1503. Uh, I am baby again. <laughs> I am baby again. I am a baby again. Sick, dying. I carry my baby. I have the shroud. He wraps me in a blanket. The blanket hums. The shroud hums. You are underdeveloped. Heal him. Subject is underdeveloped. Damn you, heal him who is talking, who is yelling. Come closer. He thing with hearing chewing noises. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, thanks, thanks. It, it's just, uh, I'm not even sure I, I would call it a cold. It's just, um, it's like uh, drainage from allergies and stuff like that. Because where I live, there's like, allergens everywhere um so i i that that's it basically it's there just to keep the slight minor sore throat under control basically um pain is temporary <laughs> comprehension is unnecessary uh reparation is possible difficult do it then uh, so warm, so cold, it draws the life from me, it makes me feel alive. Is it done? Yes. Did it work? Answer me, did it work? Consus, are you there? Consus, uh, sleep child, forget these dreams. Giovanni Borgia, five, uh, five out of seven. 1503. Your mind is damaged, child. You dream of dreamers past. Lives that once were surf uh, that were once were surface again. You must sink or you will be lost. Dreams of the cavern again. I run my phantom hands along its wall and recognize every flaw. There is writing here, but I cannot read it. Carved into texture, burdened into shadow. Answers unreachable within my slumber. I am flying without form. I am the wind. No, I am upon the wind, pulled away from the city, across field and forest. Once again, I study my path, though I know I, I will. Eh, eh, though I know it will be lost when I wake. I hear them, warnings, prophecies, doom, nightmares. I am needed, I need. Yeah, it it is. Um actually fun little note. Did you know that there that the reason why pollen is such a big deal is because um of the lack of fruit bearing trees that are out there? Um Basically, if we planted more fruit bearing trees all over the place in public and all over the place, there would not be pollen in the, uh, nearly as much pollen in the air, if any, uh, depending on how many fruit bearing trees we plant. Um, and also it would do wonders for the ozone layer and the uh, temperatures and everything. The more you know. Um... Prophecy, doom, nightmares. I am needed. I need. I see a face. It is my own. And then it is my father's, my ch uh, my Caesar. The flesh upon his skull picked apart by carrion birds. Cleopatra and Caesar kiss while Roma burns. I shout to Caesar, turn around, turn and save your people. 23 blades, 23 keys. Excess information easily shed, unimportant, irrelevant. Um... 1503, 6 of 7. We drop to our knees, our breaths uh, catching in our throats as we try to grasp the spectacle before us. Giovanni is dreaming. Brutus is awake. You absolutely should. You absolutely should. Um, because do you want to know why 
uh that is general there are not more fruit bearing trees out there the reason is i mean not to sound like a not to sound like a socialist <laughs> but the reason is is because of capitalism um it's why you can't if you just have food and fruit available just out there for people to just grab whenever they want then you can't pay them for it you, you can't make them pay for it you know you can't charge them for it um it's uh it, it's a uh, controlling the means of production and supplies and and food and all of that type of stuff uh is the reason why is genuinely the reason why um yeah giovanni is dreaming brutus is awake uh this same cavern it has haunted our dreams we have spent countless nights exploring it in our sleep we were compelled to find it uh plot our and uh, plot the downfall of our enemies our friend or our papa our dictator perpetuo uh 40 of us each a sender one child a dreamer each a liberator each an assassin yeah it, it is pretty sad um it is pretty sad. In fact, actually, it, you know, the more the more people do plant like uh, fruit bearing trees, the more you absolutely like it would it definitely help. Um, and uh, yeah, um, passive activism: plant fa plant plant fruit bearing trees. <laughs> Um, council has ended. Caesar moves away from the Senate, placing his trust in foreign rulers, adopting the ego and pomp of, of his Egyptian whore. Wow, racism. Um, now I will say that we do we do learn in a future game um, that we do actually see Caesar, and we do uh, and we meet Cleopatra, and uh, there is. Uh, well, there is a mission involved in assass in the assassination of Cleopatra, um, and I believe Brutus makes an appearance in that as well. Um, uh, and, uh, but yeah, I won't say more because it does, ma because there's major spoilers for that game itself, but Caesar and Cleopatra do both appear in a future game. Um, uh, my brother's eager, eager for blood. I'm not certain I can spill it. Roma will not be free until Papa is dead. We have found traces of whatever pulled us towards this place. Whispers, lights flickering through cracks in the earth. A uh, doorway that is also a puzzle. We must find the solution. You have lost focus. No, I have found purpose. You only see the past. No, I see the future. It would work. Lots of acreage would very much help. Um, and even small acreage would help too. Uh, just remember that if you're going to do it, you want to make sure you do it legally. Um, so like, make sure you guys have all the permits you need for your areas, private lands, etc. Um, you know, don't want you guys getting in trouble for doing something um like this um but uh but yeah um proper permits etc um yeah Uh, wake up child I am awake look my eyes are open I must find a blade I must stab Caesar 23 times <laughs> um, Caesar is snoring I am small but I can kill him in his sleep lift the dagger and look at his face Papa Micheletto grabs my arm and pulls me from the room I try to cry out but he covers my mouth uh, pain is temporary the DDS recorded Giovanni's dreams fascinating remind me to talk to Melanie about dream simulations as a potential entertainment product. Okay. All right. 
down 29 the last five um nicolo i'm not even going to try to pronounce that last one 15 10 so that's seven years later um i should be dead the assassin's blade struck true yet i still draw breath the shroud i was sure he would find it but i still feel its presence i hear it in my head it's just a faint whisper in my head, but it demands action. It speaks in a language I do not understand, but I sense what it means. Get up, it demands. I try, but my wounds are too severe. Your pain is temporary. Ignore it. Concentrate. Close the wounds. Open your eyes. Sleep is death. Do not believe in your frailty. Come closer. I drag myself over to floorboards beneath my desk and pry them open. As soon as I see it, my mind blazes. I touch the artifact, and my world is enveloped in brilliant light. Did I die? Can this be? No, I must wake up from this. I extend my arms and watch them stretch into the void. Eyes within eyes, an infinite sea of perception. Stop staring. Please stop staring. My tongue catches a playful wind and unrolls like a spindle of red ribbon. Uh, it sails skyward, and I grin. I reach into the white, and it stains my hands. I watch it travel through my veins. I try to close my eyes, but I have none. I shake my head and the room returns to normal. I can move again. The pain is extreme, but I am rejuvenated. I grab the artifact. That was some Cthulhu shit. Eldritch horror shit. Um, my manor is burning. I must flee this place. I can only hope the crowd outside has dispersed. I stumble over two of my guards. Their throats are slit. The stairwell is impassable. Burning debris has fallen from the floor above. I am not sure I have strength, to, uh, strength left to find another route. My fingers tremble. I nearly dropped the artifact, so I tuck it under my arm. The hallway is completely dark. I proceed with a hand scraping along one wall and hope for the best. I test a window, but it has been sealed from the outside. I gasp for air as I drop onto the grass outside. Where will I go if I can't if I can even escape uh, Lonigo? I will not survive a trip to a, oop, to another town unless unless uh, I have no choice. Whatever power this thing holds, I must try to unleash it. I wrap myself in the shroud. I begin to vomit at a little at first, but then it flows red as I violently expel my insides. Too much, a thousand voices shouting at once. My head cannot take any more. My body, uh, my body folds upon itself. My muscles pull tighter than should be possible, and I feel my bones snap. I feel the shroud's power. It is tearing me apart. I cannot control it. I am no longer in control of my own body. It reconfigures the voice. Uh, it reconfigures as the voices demand. I have stopped breathing. One of my eyes has gone blind. The other is slowly losing focus. I see the assassin approach disgusting he says as he pulls the shroud from my dying grip how how did he know well that was disgusting i i want to see it happen to someone else any volunteers says alvaro gramatica oh god bloody vomit help yeah sorry uh 1944 so you know four centuries later uh in milan some guy named keith Kipione. Uh, this is crazy. What did I do to tick off my bosses? Goose chase in the middle of a war zone while our own boys are dropping the bombs on me. For what? Chance that I that it may be the real thing? Right. Been at this nearly 20 years and I don't even believe it exists. I keep my head low even though I'm dressed as a local. The bag full of money feels like a ball and chain though. Um... These people are suffering. They wouldn't think twice about snatching it off me if they knew what it was. Looking for the restaurant. Hopefully, it still stands. But only with one eye. Yes. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Uh, looking for the restaurant. Hopefully, it still stands. Meeting with one of the Bagutiani, I guess. Um who are apparently a bunch of artsy thinker types who sit around all day contemplating the importance of sitting around and contemplating. Um, 
place looks empty, but the door's not locked. Inside, the man's waiting for me. He's nervous. He should be. I've drawn my pistol. I ain't no patsy. He answers by pointing to a wooden box sitting on one of the benches. Sure doesn't look like much to me. I sit my bag down on the table next to it, keeping my gun level. I lift the box's lid and peer into it. Something's folded up in there. Smells kind of musty. It's dirty as hell, too. It could... It could be this guy's laundry for all I know. I dangle the metal company logo at the end of my keychain and watch it jitter as I move it near the box. I glance at the man and he nods his head. I wait a minute. Maybe it's just the rumblings of some nearby bomb. It doesn't stop. Well, slap my ass and call me Sally. No comment. <laughs> So anyway, now that we've read through that and caught up on those. How are you? Here you go, Chief. Good work. <laughs> well, slap my ass and call me Sally. That's a hell of a phrase. George Takei intensifies. Hello there, Mr. Darwin. Be a deer and fetch Darwin a newspaper. My young friend, today's papers carry a rebuttal of Mr. Owen's slanderous and ignorant remarks about my work. However, I'm feeling quite like a fossil today. Would you be a deer and get me a copy of the newspaper? Sure. Take whatever you want. Oh no. Help me. Stop that. Glitchy game is glitchy. You know, I'd have caught him by now if it wasn't for the game being glitchy. Lady, stop! God, the camera being so weird.
charge. Correct. Now tell me, why have you attacked the newsboy? A man paid me and my mates to force newsboys to display this leaflet. Yeah, take the bloody thing and leave me alone. Mr. Dole may want to hear about this. A cruel caricature. Track down the source of anti-Darwin propaganda. Taking a risk by those tracks, absolutely. I love that the game was saying that I was too damn close uh, to Darwin. Uh, not to Darwin, to the guy I was trying to tackle. Uh, it was saying I was too damn close because it fucking kept throwing shit in my way and knocking me over and glitching me around. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we have another Darwin mission over here. Um... <clears throat> We have only one more mission in the city of London to complete before we complete all of those, and that's this one down here. Let's go do that one before we go talk to, go to Darwin. Yeah. All right, well, that's loaded. Here. Hi, fellas. I'm a... I'm gonna need your ride. I have a regret. <laughs> I have made a mistake. Come on! Most hated man in London. Deduce which of all the potential murderers actually killed Ashton. Think of that. Crushed by a crate. The most hated man in London. Can you imagine achieving such a title? One day my brilliance will bring me similar recognition. <laughs> Mr. Raymond, what are you talking about? It's of no consequence. What's important is that this man was hated by many, but who delivered the fatal blow? All right, so. First spot down here. Oh, poor dead horse in the road. Uh, stop down here at the street. There he is. All right, inspect the corpse. Ashton's body. The body has been crushed by the crate, but close inspection reveals another other anomalies. A puncture wound to the gut, a bullet wound in the back, and the victim's skin has an odd green pallor along with yellowing around the eyes. Inspection of the bullet wound indicates that such a wound would cause death in 12 minutes. So basically he was murdered like four times. Okay, so somebody there, somebody stabbed him in the gut, shot him in the back, and poisoned him. And then dropped a crate on him. So either somebody tried four different ways to kill him, or four different people tried to kill him at, the, at around the same time. All right, there's some footsteps there. Ooh, what was this? A book. Ashton's agenda. Listed daily activities. Pharmacy, pub, apple, household accounts. And that's 1, 105, 109, and 10, and 10 p.m. So that's the last 
so that within 10 minutes okay broken pocket watch inscribed john ashton stopped at 117 precisely which means he was crushed at 117 so that's seven minutes after the household account interesting okay broken watch 117 victim's agenda ashton's body uh look at the footprint here path john ashton took before he died all right we have one more clue somewhere all right can't talk to him is this his body again yes this is his body again okay all right let's talk to this guy hello mr dr chester mr doctor what uh what day uh what you got to say about our Ashton here? I know the man. He's hated by everyone. Surprisingly, it's not clear what killed him. I find multiple wounds. No need to send many people to jail for killing such a terrible man. What say you only arrest the single person who actually caused his death? Problem with that is the others are still attempted murder. Tell me about the puncture. He appears to have been stabbed with a perforating weapon, perhaps a spike of some kind. They would be bleeding and it would affect motor control right away, but death wouldn't come for another six minutes. Okay. So I'm a I'm gonna need a let me let me let me let me get a notepad here. Um Leeches will solve it all. Yes. Uh leeches and lots and lots of cocaine. Alright. 1 p.m. 1.17 at it was 1 105 I'll be back I need to go check his agenda again one moment sir your go-to combination Hell yeah. One, 105, 109, and 110 are appointments at the agenda. So, pharmacy at one, hub is 105, apple at 109. Household accounts. At 110 and then 117 is dead. Okay. Now, according to the doctor, he was stabbed. He would have bled out in six minutes. He appears to have been stabbed with a perforating weapon, perhaps a spike of some kind. There would be bleeding, and it would affect motor control right away, but death wouldn't come for another six minutes. Okay, hold on a second. I'm missing... I'm, I'm having computer issues. Let me... fix this. Oh. Alright. Alright. He appears to have been stabbed with a perforating weapon, perhaps a spike of some kind. There would be bleeding, and it would affect motor control right away, but death wouldn't come for another six minutes. Okay, so... He was stabbed no greater than six minutes prior to his death. So that means that he could not have been stabbed before... Uh, 110-111-ish. Tell me about the I tower. that there is at least one deadly toxin in his system. Okay. That's all you got for me? 
Okay. Just those three things, huh? All right. Uh, the gunshot, I believe my words, my uh, overview said 12 minutes. Uh, bullet wound indicated that he, that such a wound would cause death in 12 minutes. So that would put it, let's see here, uh, 17 minus 12 is 5, so 105. So that means he probably got, so sometime between, sometime between the pub and dead. No, n he could not have gotten shot before he was at the pub. Um, he could not have gotten stabbed at the pub. All right. Let's see what else we can find here. What's over here? Anything up here? <coughs> I am missing a clue. Unless it's all the way over there. No, that's the apple stand. Um... <clears throat> One fourteen. Oh, hey, look at that! They're giving me a timeline. One seventeen is when the bro where the watch broke. So one fourteen here. One thirteen. So it took him. Interesting. It took him a minute to get from here to that corner but three minutes to get crushed. Interesting. All right, let's start with this. It has a single bite taken out of it. The inside of the apple is oddly pink, which means he was poisoned at the apple spot. Um, most likely. Took a bite, discarded apple. Stumbles, pushed. Argues with wife. Mrs. Ashton, wife of victim, hair held by knitting needle. He's my husband. Each day I bring him the household expenses just after he eats his apple. I also brought him his invitation to the knighthood ceremony. <laughs> the one with the special scepter. Of course he wasn't going to take me along. Often tie up my hair around a knitting needle. What business is it of yours? Just curious, like your style, you know. Sells apples daily in the street. 109 is when he took the apple. He stopped by here every day at the exact same time. He'd buy an apple and try to cheat me out of tuppence. But then most folks do that. Aw, sorry. Okay. Argues with wife at 110. Stumbles is pushed, maybe shot or stabbed. Because, let's see here, this was 111, which is when he got stabbed. So she stabbed him here. Okay. 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 I'm seeing, I'm seeing the timeline. All right, let's... Let's head, hold on. Hold on. There was a missing clue or something back here. Or did it show up? Come on. Nope, still a missing clue. Um. Oh, 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 oh. It absolutely is the crate itself. Okay, Ashton's body. Come on, let me let me examine the crate. Come on. Come on. There we go. Crate appears to have fallen from overhead crane onto Ashton. There we go. That's all the clues. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh. Now we have a new area up there. Interesting. Okay, let's go look. 
Hey, fellas. Crane operator. Worker. Let's examine. Let's, let's talk to the crane operator first. Hello, hello. We owned this site and paid us. We <laughs> all hated him because he looked for any excuse to cheat us out of our wages. I didn't hate him any more or less than my mates. It's Tell difficult to crane. work properly. You'd have to know what you're doing to drop it at just the right moment. So, like a crane operator. That's around the time I'm given a few minutes to eat something. About then, I would have been buying myself an apple at the stand down the street. He claims to have been down the street. Okay. A viable alibi, potentially. Take a look at the crane. Huge coal powered crane. It doesn't look coal powered, but sure. Uh, driving mechanism is complex and requires an expert I wonder operator. If someone could tell me more about this. Hello, hello. The man's a right bastard. Might help you smoldering in hell. Well, I'm not a crane operator. I wouldn't know how to work that. Yeah, I taught him how to work the crane a few days ago. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. What is that? Construction site handbill. Please contribute to the benefit fund for the man who had his arm crushed. Any help will be much I appreciated. Interrogate a suspect. All right, Eddie, what you got to say? My Tell me about this crushed arm. For life, and Ashton didn't care a fig. He deserved what happened. Beyond that, I'm mum. Hi, mum. <laughs> All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Crane operator. Eddie knew how, uh, even though he lied about it. Had mo Eddie had motive. I mean, they all had motive. But all right, concern. The Doctor Chester is a concerned passerby. Okay. Complex mechanism falling. Ashen's body. Victim's agenda. I really love how they incorporated the Eagle Vision into the murder solving. All right, back to the apple stand. 113, 112. All right, take your time. Take care of yourself. Stumbled, pushed. Yeah, that sounds right. Came by for an apple. He was here when we heard the crate hit the ground. Okay, so Frank's alibi checks out. Not so good for Eddie, though. 109. Hold on. Just to check. I did one and two. Yep, okay. Hey, fellas. All right. Pharmacy and pub. Um, let's go to the pub next. Mr. Hendricks, is it? Competitor of Ashton's. Okay. Ashton stops in front Ashton. of this pub every afternoon to check on business rumors. Something of a bastard, Ashton. Told me he had a bit of jam on the side, if you know what I mean. Wife didn't know mm -hmm. about it. Well, the bit of jam wants out, but he won't let her. That's the sort of fellow we're speaking of. Okay. Interesting. Better to Ashton. There's a couple of clues here. Newspaper. Includes an interesting article. Hendrix refinery brought to a halt. Apparent sabotage has destroyed machinery at Lawrence Hendrix's foundry. 
Rumors circulating imply that industrialist John Ashton is behind the sabotage of his competitor. And what's this? Huh, a revolver! A Webley Boxer revolver. One chamber is empty. I wonder if someone could tell me more about this. Uh oh. That was Ashton's the sabotage. Doing. The man had it in for me. He paid workers to wreck my machines. Cost me a fortune. As long as he was around, I'd never prosper. As a matter of fact, I do carry a revolver at all times. It can be a dangerous neighborhood for a wealthy fella such as myself. This proves nothing. But what it proves is that you shot somebody. It's your revolver. You just admitted to it, it, to it being your revolver, and it's missing a bullet. Newspaper sabotage, revolver. Yeah, sorry. Coming through. All right. Enters pub at 105, leaves at 107. And that tracks with when he was shot. All right. The pharmacy we go. Tell me about He's Ashton. He's been coming to me for years. He arrives precisely at one o'clock and leaves two minutes later. He takes a bluish medication every day and prefers that I administer it. Mary is a trusted assistant. As far as I know, she's completely above board. Today, she swept the shop and prepared some medications. She also fetched herself an apple from the apple stand. Oh, Miss Mary. Tell me about I Ashton. I see him here every day. He can be unpleasant, but I don't really know him. Okay. Poke around here. What you got? Pharmaceutical cabinet. Con uh, contains chemicals labeled. Warning, not to be ingested. Chemical 1 a, is bluish in color and is listed as causing erratic movement after 10 minutes and death after an additional 16. Causes jaundice about the eyes and has an extreme anesthetic effect. Chemical 2 is pinkish in color and is listed as causing erratic movement after 2 minutes and death after an additional 9. Yields a green tint to skin. A letter for in the pharmacy addressed to Thomas Reese, the pharmacist. Tom, my dear brother, I have recently made a most upsetting discovery. The man who forced the foreclosure of the family farm was none other than John Ashton, your very client. His behavior in this affair is beyond indecent. Both father and mother are reduced to pen penury. You and I both must contribute all we can, although we each have obligations of our own. At the very least, you must cease to do business with this dreadful man. I believe I should reinterrogate a suspect. Hello, Mr. Thomas. What you got to this say? This really is none of your business. He came to me for his blue medication. I gave him blue medication. Okay. Leaves the pharmacy at around 102. And what's this? Medicine box. Medicine box of Ashton's prescription with a few remaining blue pills. He must have dropped it along the way. Okay. All right. 
So, is that everything? If I open the right button. Dreadful pride. I think that might be everything. Could be wrong. Alright, so clues and suspects met at the pharmacy. Check. Alright, so. <clears throat> he comes to the pharmacy where he gets his his medicine administered by Mr. Reese. Mr. Reese gives him a blue medicine. Which could be the proper pills, or it could be pills distilled with the blue drugs in here. Meanwhile, Mary, the assistant, uh, runs down to the apple shop, where she could have poisoned an apple. And we know that there is a poisoned app that there was a poisoning there as well, because the apple he had, uh, that he had taken a bite out of, was pink, rather than the color it should be for an apple. So, he leaves at 102. Okay, hold on. Let me... Uh, 10 minutes... And so, 26 minutes total. Okay. So, oops, wrong button. So... Ashton leaves here, poisoned. 103, he takes, takes pills, discards box. One oh five, he comes around the corner, it enters the pub where he and Hendrix get into it, and Hendrix shoots him in the back as he leaves, as Ashton leaves at one oh seven. Gets shot in the back. by Hendrix. At 108, he stumbles. That's about, that's probably actually where he got, and there's blood, which is probably where he actually got shot. It continues on his way. He may not have noticed if he was struggling from poison, which it looks like he was. Then he arrives at the apple place and takes an apple at 109. The apple seller. What can you tell me about Girl Mary? Works at the pharmacy. Yeah, she slipped me an extra thruppence. She had a special app just for Mr. Ashton. I gave him that one when he come by. Mm. <laughs> there it is. Mr. Ashton did look strange like. Eyes all yellowish. And then he turned pale after he bit into the apple. Almost green, really. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I'm right. I was right. All right, let's start back over at the pharmacy. And here's what happened. Actually, hold on. Let me check the map. Here's what happened. At 1 p.m. precisely, Mr. Ashton shows up at the, enters the pharmacy to get his prescription. He is then poisoned with this blue medication. For, uh, his blue medication is poisoned by a uh, um, is replaced with a blue poison from this cabinet over here. Unbeknownst to Reese, or maybe in addition, uh, Mary here. Quite right. I asked the apple seller to give him a special apple. Is that a crime? He was a horrid man. That's all I have to say. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Simultaneously, Mary ran down to the apple shop to arrange for Ashton to eat a poisoned apple on his stop in nine minutes. 102, he leaves the pharmacy. 103, he takes the pill and discards the box. 
And there's an empty medicine bottle right there. And we know he was already poisoned by the time he arrived at the apple shop because he was already yellow and jaundiced looking. Um, and after he bit the apple, he turned green. But that's ahead. We're getting ahead of ourselves. 105. He arrived precisely 105. He arrives and he enters the pub where he gets into it with Mr. Hendricks, his competitor. Mr. Hendricks uses his revolver and shoots the man in the back after he le at, at uh, across at, at 108 across the street where um, Ashton it gets shot in the back. Um, Ashton leaves at 107, crosses the street. Uh, Hendricks shoots him at the back here at 108 where he where Ashton stumbles and blood is splattered. Oh, calm down. Um, he arrives to take uh, to pick up an apple at 109. Um, the apple seller gives him the apple from Mary, where he get, where he bites it and turns green, discards that apple down the way. Um, he argues with his wife at 110. Very well. I found out about his dalliance with that girl from the pharmacy. It's not the first. Divorce is all but impossible given his influence with the clergy. He was sleeping with Mary. She stabs him at 111. He where he discards of his uh, poisoned apple at 112 continues on 113 114 and then 117 crushed by a falling crate Now, because I've learned about the accu the the thing, the dalliance, I'm gonna run back to the pharmacy and see if Mary has more to say for herself. Because I don't think I've gotten the notification of I can solve that I have all the information I need yet. Um, I think I do have all the information I need, but uh, just want to make sure that I have not missed anything. It does say make an accusation. Um, I'm looking, I'm checking in the mini map where it would tell me if there was somebody who needed to be talked to. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's make an accusation. If we're only trying, if we're only trying to uh, catch the one who who actually trigger dropped the crate, that would be Eddie. It was me for certain. I watched the crate fall and crush him. He was still moving when it hit. Oh. So apparently he was still moving when the crate hit. Oh no. Which means that the crate didn't kill him outright. He was shot. He was shot at. One oh eight, and he would have bled out in twelve minutes, which would have been three minutes after he was dead at one seventeen. So 108 is not and so the shot the gunshot wasn't what did the thing. Hold on just a second. I'll be right back.
am back. Sorry about that. Oops. Where'd the game go? There it is. All right. Come on, game. Game. Come on. Come on. OBS. Trust me, the game is still there. OBS. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Okay. Anyway, so uh, the shot wouldn't have killed him because he would have died uh, being shot at 108. He would have died at 120. He would not have been doing well, but he would have died at 120. Uh, she stabs him at 111. Um, <clears throat> and I don't remember what this doctor said about the puncture. He appears to have been stabbed with a perforating weapon, perhaps a spike of some kind. There would be bleeding and it would affect motor control right away, but death wouldn't come for another six minutes. Six minutes from 111 would be 117. Uh, 117. Um, uh, So the wife could have done it. The timeline lines up for the wife. Um, but not Hendrix. Uh, let's check the poison times. So I don't think the, I don't think the blue poison would have done it. I don't think, whoa, what just happened? My game just crashed. No. That was weird. It, that was weird. All right. I don't think the blue poison would have done it. So I think uh, Mr. Reese right here is clear. Um, chemical one is bluish in color and is listed as causing erratic movement after 10 minutes. So yeah, 26 minutes. Uh, the first poison is clear. The second poison pinkish in color and is listed as causing erratic movement after two minutes and death after an additional nine minutes. He has the apple at 109. However, um, however, he does not when he bites into it. Um, He bites into it after he's been stabbed. Uh, he's been stabbed here at 111. Takes a bite of the apple at, at here. And it's at nine minutes, which would put it after our uh, 117 death mark. Uh, so probably not poison number two either. Um, which means... The wife stabbing did it. I'll be the toast of the town. A very unpleasant fellow. But what was that business about a knighthood ceremony? In any case, Mr. Raymond will have a story for Perlock Publishing. Up to the clink with you. Most hated man in London or more than one way to skin a cat. Um, wealthy business owner John Ashton was murdered not once, but five times. Uh, so hated was he that his business rival, his employee, his wife, his mistress, and his pharmacist all made attempts on his life. Poisoned, shot, stabbed, and finally crushed. They should have said poisoned twice. Ashton came to a very gruesome end indeed. What the fuck just happened? Oh, it's doing the stupid thing with my mouse again. Hold on.
Okay, there we go. Now, that's our last mission in City of London. Last in Whitechapel. We still have a Darwin uh, in the tank in the Thames. Uh, that's everything in Southwark. That's everything in Lambeth. So that we have one in the Thames and one in the Strand. And then still several in Westminster to take care of. All right, let us go to the Strand and see Charles Darwin. Oh, and actually, while this is loading, I'll be right back again. Sorry. I'm back. I'm back. Um, sorry to keep dipping out like that uh, throughout the stream. I've been having to handle some other stuff uh, while also streaming. No big deal. Just stuff that occasionally takes my attention. Huh. Oh, my train safe is full. Oh, no. Well, I might as well take care of that. My train safe is not full. I just emptied it. Circumstances were not so grave, I'd compliment the artist on the wonderful caricature. They are fools if they believe they can stop progress by printing leaflets and killing newsboys. We must find out who is behind this propaganda before more innocents are harmed. I should very much like it if you could find and remove these awful things. Perhaps you can catch one of the bill posters red-handed. Thank you. 
No escape for you guys, maybe. I must have already removed it. Must have removed it with the explosion. <laughs> lucky, lucky. That's not the button I wanted. an NPC back there he just laid down like well guess I'll die Come on. such a mood Wow, this fucker's fast. Oh. 
at him run. Look at him speed along. <coughs> slander about Mr. Darwin's theories. Darwin refused to cooperate with us. We wanted to recruit him, but he rebuffed all our offers. We've tried to intimidate him, blackmail him, but he's a stubborn old git. I'm dismantling your propaganda press. Hey Matt, good to see you. How are you doing? Yes, sabotage all the printers at once, okay? Well, let's pick this up. Drop it here. This up. All the printers at once, it says. Specifically the printers. And there's three of those. Oh wait, nope, there's four. Okay. Alright, so there's actually a lot of dynamite down here. Um... <clears throat> Which is good, because I'm going to probably need all of it, just to be sure. Drop that there. Drop that one here. Drop this one here, maybe? This one needs to be close, it needs to be over here. Probably be like right. Again, how big is an explosion? If I hold on, 
Let me, let me get some range here. Can you show me a radius? Oh, of course not. Well, I'm just gonna have to trial and error this. Um, get you a little bit closer to this one over here. Here. Ah, uh, no. Physics. Come on. What I want you to do, right there on the edge. There you go. And this one. No, 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 no. This one should probably be like right here-ish. Hopefully that's good enough. No. Come on. Yeah, hopefully that's good enough. And then I'll just move this one a bit here-ish. Okay, that should no, no. Let's let's make you a bit here. Split the difference. Put it here. That didn't even move. Come on, Evie. Come on. There you go. Um. Hopefully that's close enough. And then. Well, here goes nothing. There we go, all at once, like a boss. Uh, let's go this way. singing memories um but let us let us go entertain jacob for a moment So while I'm thinking about it, oh, wrong thing. Still the wrong thing. There we go. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for progress tracker. Um, Jacob first. Attempts to steal. Okay. Yeah.
back again, Jacob. For God's sake, you can't do it. Possibly make it. It makes every difference. Is this what you need, the chip? Tom. to check the back. I'm here to see Mr. Roth. Weapons? No, thank you. I've got my own. You should be on the stage, sir. <laughs> this way. Possible comedian. Has arrived. Come, sit. I've had my eye on you for some time. I find your heroics in battle in the great Crawford Steric quite magnificent. I've been picking off your soldiers one by one. Doesn't that make you angry? On the contrary, surprise is a spice of life. Now, Mr. Steric, that's a different story. I'm drowning in directives, all terribly pouring. Let's say we work together and bring him down. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. My friend, if I fail to provide you with the chance to cause Steric some pain, well, you can charge into this theater and kill me yourself. What do you get out of all this? The chance to have a little fun with the bravest man in London. <sighs> you have a deal. <laughs> <laughs> expect me to go alone, do you? Take the reins. Let's go. Driver, Look alive. to some bankers. And to don't do. spare the horses. I thought you and Steric would be fighting for the same ends. What happened? Ah, uh, you know. He required my services to train his gang leaders. But the man is dreadful. You don't say. Freedom, Jacob. Stealing that is far more than a sin. It denies us our humanity. Right you are. And St. Pancras will ease our suffering. The station contains a large shipment of explosives to be dispatched to Stalin. And you intend to steal it? See him get off the carriage. 
Anything of interest? Let's wreak havoc, shall we? By God. There's a train parked inside St. Pancras. Then I'm to do away with Starek's merchandise, leaving chaos in my wake? Why not, Jacob? Why not? As we speak, the up train is headed towards us. That may help you enter the station unseen. As long as it remains on the tracks. I'd say good luck, but you don't need it. I shall make certain any reinforcements from Steric are kept away from the station. dynamite by igniting it rather than shooting it okay But I wanted. Someday, you blighters will understand that I'm doing this for your own good. Two down. Be ashamed to stop now. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, look, the magical flying uh, dynamite box. Oh, I should run. Now to find somebody to drive this hunk of metal. All right, I will be right back. I have to turn to the bathroom. Continue on. Find a driver. Kidnap the driver. Find the man. Kidnap the man. Get your bleeding hands off me. What do you think you're up to? Hush now, please. You be quiet, sir. No need to make a fuss. Hush now. What do you want from me? I just need you to keep the engine stoked. All right, I'll help you. Don't hurt me. Think of me as another passenger. I just happen to have a rather large blade pointed at your back. to get him some steam. Apologies, I must run. Do come see me again.
Also not a level 10. Hmm. All right, so next up is another Jacob down here. All right, was it 930? Yeah, we, we might have time. Uh, Come on, you silly. <clears throat> Fellas, where's my cart? I ordered. There you are. Hi, y'all. Let me in. All righty. Come on, all aboard. There you are. Come on, dude. There you go. Jacob. He is beautiful, isn't he? <laughs> I planned a perfect second outing for us. Have you? There's borrowing to be done. Three of Starrick's henchmen are about to disappear. Oh, you sly devil. Oh, and I'm coming along this time. There is no sense in giving you all the glory. Off to my carriage we go, Lewis! Do not kill anyone inside the uh, target location. Do not let place. any target escape from being hit. They could be building okay. gangs instead. No, no. Why build when you can ebb and flow like the sea? I would not aim to pin them down. Oh, you wouldn't, would you? What about your bird? I dare say I shall never tire of the National Gallery. Why does Starrick interest himself with art? He's hired a fiendishly talented woman. Bring your carriage around and wait for the cargo. I shan't be very long. Someone around here must know Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I'm looking for Miss Hattie Cadwallader. I ain't seen her. I knows what she's been up to, though. And what's that? Friggin' art, sir. She pinched a statue not far from here. The statue must be around here somewhere. Historical nonsense, I'm sure. Phrases are to be enriched by modernity. Now, where is that statue? 
Hey, Smalley. Know anything about what happened here? I saw who pinched it, sir. Miss Cadwallader? Shards down the sewers, sir. That's why I do so enjoy the continent. Far more pride. Of course it's sewers. Why the bloody sewers? Because nobody likes going in them. His next delivery is on its way. And tell him too that I've grown tired of these working conditions. It wasn't Starrick who sent me. Then who? Maxwell Roth sent his regards. I didn't realize he was a cop. <clears throat> Did not realize he was a cop. <clears throat> That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. I've aggroed too many people at once. Reload. Saw nothing. Saw nothing. 
见。Here we go. Go to sleep. Let's get him out of here. Go to sleep. Oh, don't come in here. Oh shit, he's coming in here. Come on, bitch, hurry up. Nope, not a wizard. Just better than you are. I don't see him. I would best return. He's too fast. <laughs> Here we go, here we go, here we go. Progress! Good progress. Oh, wait. <clears throat> tell Mr. Starrick his next delivery's on its way. And tell him too that I've grown tired of these working conditions. Wasn't Starrick who sent me? Then who? Maxwell Roth sent his regards. Why the Alhambra? Every good criminal needs a place to invest his ill-gotten gains. And what's better than distracting the world with a little light entertainment while you do so? Oh, come now. You can't tell me you don't enjoy the triumph of a well-received play. The plaudits and praise, the reviews. I enjoy being entertained, Jacob. If one of the productions... Ah, the park. The dwelling place of Starrick's head of security, one Benjamin Raffles. Those who cross him tend to disappear without warning. Sounds like we'll be fast friends. Be careful. His guards are never far away.
think of this? Did Roth send you? The villain! You have your villains mixed up, Mr. Raffles. The man you work for is the real villain here. they are. Alright. Alright. Looks like there's been a killing. Maybe two. Can't we have five minutes of peace? Oh god, that's a lot. Okay, so I'm just gonna go around then, if it'll let me. Here we go. Maybe. Hope. Most fragrant Raffles. How very good to see you again. Gotta well, Roth. It's into the back with you then. <gasps> Who is this Lyris that works for you? Ha! A bit of an odd fish, isn't he? Came to me a few years past. He's very solid. <laughs> But always so polite, and he has many other talents. Who am I looking for? Chester Swinehorn. A copper by day and snitch by night. Remove him from the pack, and you cut Sterick's ties to the police force. Must be good at what he does to keep the charade going for so long. He is indeed, dear boy. Bobbies give me goose flesh. Welcome to Scotland Yard. This is going to be a pain. <clears throat> I said R, come on. Huh? What? Now, now, Swineborn. Let's not make a scene. You're not going to get away with this. Oh, but I am. Where are you taking me? A friend would like to say a quick how do you do.
shit, that's not a good that's not a good location. Come on. Carefully. Welcome back. Have I encountered any other creepy stuff? Uh, no, not really. We've just been going around uh, kidnapping some criminals uh, who work for the big bad guy of the... Um, some people who work for the big bad guy of the game. Um, mainly. Nothing creepy. That I could, not that I'd consider creepy, at least. so well too and then I got distracted by my phone isn't that always the case last checkpoint oh please don't make me have to start everything over over or don't put me too far No suspicion. No suspicion. Jacob's just an idiot. It's fine. Huh? Now, now, Swineborn. Let's not make a scene. You're not going to get away with this. Oh, but I am. Where are you taking me? A friend would like to say a quick how do you do. Is that trouble? What the devil is going on over <gasps> there? All right, sir, I need you to take steps in the opposite direction from me please all right this way here because running would be suspicious oh. all right now 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 this is the opposite side of where we need to be but that's okay now if I could just pay the fuck attention to the game instead of getting distracted by my phone that would be great
Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna take a jog down the road. Phone into the ocean, have a Titanic, get necklace moment. Uh, I would, except I currently need the phone. Let's go. <laughs> Excellent work. Do come find me at the Alhambra. I have more amusements planned for us. Jacob, are you feeling like somebody's errand boy right now? Because you should be. mission is over here however uh we're gonna call it there i know it's a little bit before 10 <sighs> but anything we would do uh anything we could do would be too long um so we're gonna go ahead and call it there but uh used to throw my mouse across the desk um <clears throat> but uh yeah that's it for me for the night um before we all head out though i want to quickly Take a moment and uh, remind y'all of the link tree in the Patreon. Um, if you go, if you want to support me in a way that does not involve Twitch or YouTube, uh, the way to do that would be through the Patreon, uh, patreoncom slash Night. Um, and the uh, uh, if you want to just follow me on socials or um, join my Discord or follow me on YouTube or if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to watch me live, the Twitch and follow, uh, go to my Twitch. Uh, all of that's up in that link tree, link tree slash Crimson Knight. Um, also, right down here, link tree slash Crimson Knight. I could just put it right, you know, uh, all the places. Anyway, um, but uh, yeah, in fact, actually, speaking of YouTube, if you are watching this on YouTube, please do not hesitate to like and subscribe and comment and all those wonderful good things to help out with the algorithm. That'd be great. If not, that's okay. I won't hold it against you either way. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, you're very welcome for the stream, Rose. Uh, thank you for tuning in uh, and joining me in the chat. Um, but, uh, yeah, in fact, thank you to ev thank you to all of you uh, for tuning in and hanging out. Um, we're That's it for the night. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And so until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I will see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.